Hi, welcome to Leisure and Rec. I'm Betsy and with me again is Liam. Liam and today we're going to show you a really fun website called Google Doodles and in this you're going to be doing a whole lot of bunch of things so you get to choose whatever you like to do the best. So first off we're going to go over our learning target. So you yeah, have that. <clears throat> Thank you. So today I will um, explore Google Doodles so I can practice using your fine motor skills to use a touch screen, laptop, or mouse. And Google Doodles can be used on any of those devices, including your phone. Um, you're going to also be making decisions. Which kind of Google Doodles do you like the best? And which ones are your favorite? Which ones do you prefer not to do anymore? and state preferences. You know when you got it is when you use the website to either play a game or create a card or compose music. So there's a lot of fun things you can do on this plus more. This is just the few that I'm going to be showing you today. So what we're going to first do is we're going to show you what Google's Doodles looks like. So if you go to googles.com slash doodles, you're going to get this page right here. And Google's doodles are the fun way of changing the Google logo um, to celebrate holidays, famous people, games, and more. So like today, the, the day that we're doing this, we have Norway's Constitution Day. But each day there's something new and it can give you some information, a lot of fun stuff. But the really cool thing is a lot of these doodles you can actually play with. There's over uh, 4,000 doodles. So we're not going to go into all 4,000, but we're going to go over our, Liam and mine, my top, our top four, right? So. So our first one that we're going to be talking about is something that was recently, that is Mother's Day. So I'm going to click on this one right here. And Mother's Day one, you can see there's a little logo right here. And you press the play button. And the cool thing with this is you can then make your own Mother's Day craft. So it says Mother's Day, let's get crafting. So they have a bunch of stuff on the bottom here. Everything from flowers to leaves, some shells, stars, hearts. So I'm gonna click a heart, I'm gonna drop it here and click it. Oh, I'm gonna take this and get, click it. Oh, I want more of those. Click it, click it, click it. And then you just basically pick whichever kind of shapes you want, any kind of cool little designs. Oh, look at them moving. That's cool. So then you can send this to either by email, by Twitter, or by Facebook. So, or you can copy the link and send it to a fav your favorite person for Mother's Day. So this is a great thing to think about for the future. Another fun activity, so we're going to go back to our main page here, is if we go down, this is one of Liam's favorites. It's an old school game that's still popular today. It's this one right here. It's called Pac-Man. So Pac-Man, you click down here, insert a coin. We don't actually have to do that. But you see there's a little game here. And Liam knows that he can, you can use the little up and down. I'm trying to get all those little gold coins. Oh, yeah, there's three of them. And if you get them when they're blue, you can eat the, the ghosts. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Oh, oh well. But so that's a really fun game. It's an old school game. It started out 
a long time ago. This was back in 2010. It was celebrating its um, 30th anniversary. So we're looking at 40 years of Pac-Man now. So going back to our main page again, another fun game that also involves music is this one called Hip Hop. So you click on this. And for the hip hop game, you click, go down, click on here. Oh, here it goes. You can click the plus, and this is celebrating 44 years of hip hop. So we're going to skip that. And we're going to skip this, and I'm just going to show you how to work this. So. This crossfade, you can change from one record to the other. And then you can scratch it by just kind of clicking on it. And if you want different records, you go here and you can just bring this down. You see this little black bar on the side. So let's do this one instead. So this is a So this is a fun game and then you can also share that. And that's celebrating the 44th anniversary of hip hop, but that actually was a couple years ago. So it's the hip hop has been around even longer. But the game that I like the most, the activity I like the most is this one down here. This is called uh, Fish in Fish Ingers. And Fish Ingers was a famous artist. And he was big into combining music and art together. So for this fun game, you click on here, and you press play. And this is a really fun game to do because it involves a lot of creativity. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your little mouse or you can, you're touching the screen, you're going to click any of these little diamonds and anytime you click one, you're going to get an additional note. So you can click way up high and that gives you a low note. You can click down low and gives you a higher note. Now, if you go up here, you can actually change the instruments. So you're gonna have a different tone. You can see the pretty pictures it forms while it's making the music. Another one you can do, let's see, this is our next one. This one's kind of like a xylophone sound. And you can see that it shows like little xylophone bars when you hit them. And then the last instrument you can try is this one that kind of looks like a smushed down square. This one is like a piano. So let's add a bunch of notes. Now, the other cool thing is you can go to this modify and you can add a little bit of changes to the different music. So Liam, why don't you add a bunch of tones? First, add a bunch of tones on here. So he's going to add a bunch of tones and lots of notes. Okay. Then he's going to go to modify and then he's going to click either delay or pin crush. And you're going to notice that it's now kind of like an echoing sound. This one changes the look, so it looks like an 8-bit computer game. And 
What about phaser? Gives a nice little pretty echo sound to it. Now he's going to now click on the tempo. Tempo is changing the speed. So now the speed's a lot faster. The song, the musical is a lot faster. He goes to the other direction. Goes really slow. Tempo's going slower. And then there are some presets. So if you click on the bottom here, this gives you some preset music. So you can see and hear it together. And that's what Fissinger was known for, combining music and visuals. And anytime you want to stop, or start over, you just press the little trash can revert. Okay, and then press clear. All right, so those are just some of the wonderful different activities that you can do on Google Doodles and try it out. Um, like I said, there's 4,000, so you can also in addition to playing games, you can learn some new information and maybe find out something new. Uh, also, just want to remind you that on Friday, today, May 22nd, all the posters for the graduates are due. So remember, if you want to congratulate the graduates, make sure you get your poster done and take a picture of it and send it to me by the end of today, please. So I hope you guys have a great day and we'll hope to see you soon, right? All right, bye.